yeah so now to cut the bat wing um draped short dress like you see in the picture all i'll need is my two and a half meter of fabric so i'm using this bunt orange fabric crepe with a little bit of stretch but it doesn't matter if it has stretch or not but what you need you need to remember when you want to cut the style is a fabric that drapes beautifully you don't need something that is stiff like if you notice the fabric it's not too light and it's not too thick so you see it drapes nicely so chiffon can also be good silk is fine satin is perfect but ankara may not work or cotton so you need to use an appropriate fabric for you to get the effect desired effect so now i have my fabric folded on the table into four so i didn't use the old 2.5 meters you need to fold according to the length you want so the length the length i have on this table is 41 inches long so what i intend to have after sewing is 40 inches long dress so it's really simple this dress but you just need to pay attention so that you will be able to cut it as nicely as i am going to do so do not forget you need to watch to the end and if you've enjoyed the video at the end of it please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and feel free to share to your friends and share what you're learning and uh, your comments as, as well they make they mean a lot to me thank you if it's your first time you do well to subscribe so you don't miss my videos as they drop so now i'm folding or i folded already so you see this is the folded part the top part there's no cut up there you can decide to cut it okay or you may decide to leave it it depends on you what works for you but for me i think i decide to leave it but let's see how it goes you know you can always change your mind when you're sewing and you're cutting it's why i love fashion that's why i love sewing because it's very versatile manipulate the fabric do what you want it will still work so this side is also folded and there's no opening there so you need to remember that so now that it's folded the first thing i want to do i've gotten my length already i'm going to cut the neckline and i also need to you know this part of the dress where you have the opening is where the sleeve is going to be so you need to measure from this fold to the length of how long you want your sleeve to be so when you want to measure this you start from your nape that's the middle of your back where you have the bone behind your neck you measure that center of your back towards the shoulder down to your sleeve to know how long you want it so you can do that as i'm doing mine i'm just going to check I think I want it to be about 24 inches long. So I'm going to measure from the center and see where 24 inches leads me. So 24 ends there. But you remember, you will still need to fold. So I'm going to make it 26. Okay, so it can be long enough. Now, I'm going to cut off that part. But not until I'm done what I want to do now. So I'm going to measure the width. Of that part of the sleeve so it depends if you want to slant from the top or you want to leave it that way that will determine how you know that turns out so since i'm leaving it that way i'm going to measure about you know get your wrist get your tape measure your wrist and see what you have so 10 inches for me so i'm going to do 12 6 that's 12 so it's going to end there so that's my sleeve now another thing you need to do is the bottom of the dress how wide it needs to be so it shouldn't be too wide so what i'm going to do here is just to be able to pass through my hips so i'm going to make this a 46 that's 11.5 okay at the base so 11.5 is cool if it's too wide it loses its form so 11.5 and i'm going to still leave like one inch allowance so that makes it 12.5 so now what we're going to do is come all the way to that point so just watch what i'm going to do so i'm going to be coming up gradually like so do you see what i'm doing okay yeah like that so you see what i the shape i made so i didn't just go you can make it just straight it's a different way you can make your drape 
but I didn't want to make it like that. So the bottom was just a little bit straight up to about six inches. Then I started to curve in until I got to the sleeve. Okay, so that's the sleeve for me. So if you want, you can make it longer so that you can have more form around the sleeve as I did. Because if you reduce what you have here, then your drape is also going to be reduced. So try not to take off too much from the body. And that's why I tried, I decided to extend this a little bit more. So now this is taken care of. The next thing we want to do is the neckline. So now I'm going to cut first before we go to the neckline. So I've got some my scissors. I'm going to cut. Our dress and now the neckline okay so for the neckline you can make it what you want I just want it to be a cool neckline a round neckline so I'm going to make it four by four or you can do three and a half by four it depends on you if it's too closed up it may not you know let in enough air so you can decide just to do what works for you. And remember, this is together, so I need to be careful. So I'm not going to cut both the back and the front. I'm going to try to take off just one as the back neckline first. So I'm going to do that about 1.5 inches. So I'm taking that off. Now to get the front, I will need to open this up like this and I'm going to refold so that I can only have one piece with me. So I'm refolding like that. So when you refold like this, you can now get to cut the front neck separately. So I'll cut now, as you can see, so I'll cut it. Yeah, so all we need to do now is just go sew and fold. So when you open up to start sewing, you're going to have your dress like this. So when you are cutting the bottom, the base, don't forget, it depends on your hip. This hip, this person's hip, since it's specific to a particular person, I didn't make it too wide so I can get more um, tapered, tapered bottom. As I did fit, as, when I opened it, it was about 50. But if the person is bigger, a plus size, then you need to make this part wider so that it can pass through the hip. But I'm not worried because the fabric stretches. So what I've cut here can work for any size up to size 20, 22, UK size 20, 22. So we'll just stitch all the way the side down that way we use the bias for the neck then fold the sleeve so if you want you can still take in the sleeve a little bit more so it's more obvious the dress is being made you can see that's the shape so that's the shape of the dress that's the sleeve so what i mean add a band to my sleeve i said to add a band to give it a cleaner finishing so now I want to add a belt and the purpose of the belt is to cinch the waist nicely so I'm going to turn inside out like that as you can see I've used my iron and there's a line there's a crease there in the center of the dress so I'm going to fold this dress into two I folded the bottom I've used my overlocker for the sides so I just want to add the belt to give it like a grip around the waist so it can be a little bit uh, fitted so you need to watch this carefully so to do this as you see I folded this into two okay make sure you are the center it's key so I use the iron to create that line so now what I did first and foremost was to get strip of remaining fabric like that 
and I made it 22 inches long, 23 inches long, and the width I made it 3.5 inches, and as it went down, it narrowed out. So all you need to do is to stitch the size and turn inside out, just like this. So I have two belts. I've turned them inside out and I've given them a good ironing. So I'm going to attach these two belts inside the dress. So all you need to do is to measure from the top, the pint, depending on your size. So this, I want to just, what I want to do can work for a size 12 or 10 to 16 or 18. So I'm going to measure at about 13 inches or 13 and a half inches from the shoulder and I'm going to add my belt. So what I will do is I'm going to mark from the center 4.5 or we can do 5 inches. So 5 inches. So at that point I'm going to get this belt and I'm going to stitch on. So what I will do is like this I will stitch then I will turn that way and stitch but just on the front piece. Make sure you hold the front piece up when you're doing that. So I'm going to turn this the other way and I'm going to do the same thing I did from the top. I'm going to measure the length. Then from the center, I'm also going to measure the distance, which is five. So now that I've marked that, I'm going to go sew this on. So you can tie this from the front towards the back to give it a nice grip just under the boobs. Yeah, so that's the belt stitched inside and to the sides. So remember, the belts can be tinier. It doesn't have to be this large, but I wanted mine large so you can grip properly. So when you wear this, all you do is tie around your waist towards the back and it cinches the waist. So if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bells your notification bells so you don't miss my videos as they drop